Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we got a special video here planned. I actually just purchased a new PC probably about three weeks ago and it finally came in. Now this thing is from CyberPower PC and usually I don't really go with pre-builds. Honestly, I've been building my own computers for the past eight years. Usually it's just more cheaper to you just buy the parts and assemble it yourself. Not to mention it's a little bit more fun doing that. But anyways, I'm not sponsored by these guys at all. So they have no idea that I'm even making this video. But we're going to check this out, unbox it, see if the whole thing fell apart in the shipping or we'll see if it works out of the box so the specs that I got on this build, we have the i9-13900K, ASUS TUF RTX 4090, we got 32 gigabytes DDR5. I'll leave the full specs down in the description below. This thing cost me my left kidney, so make sure you guys leave a like on this video so that it'll get picked up by the YouTube algorithm. So yeah, here is the box. It's all wrapped up nice and neat. And then you have, you know, your basic plastic wrap. I didn't notice any, you know, dents or anything in the box, so... But yeah, here you can see the case. So I pretty much got all the cheapest components. Well, other than obviously the processor, graphics card, and, and whatnot. But everything else, I just went with the cheapest case. And, you know, whatever else I could downgrade to save me a couple bucks. But still look pretty nice. Now we got this little foam packing inside of the case. So we'll go ahead and just take this thing out. And I've got to say, it looks pretty nice. It's got a liquid-cooled uh, CPU. We have the ASUS TUF RTX 4090 right here. I've been hearing that uh, these little connectors have been melting, I guess, especially if it's uh, bent. So hopefully this doesn't burn down my house. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing all hooked up and see if it even turns on. Okay, so here we go, moment of truth. And I forgot to turn on the power supply. And it looks like it runs, so. So yeah, here I just need to go ahead and set up Windows. I don't really like Windows 11, to be completely honest with you. It's also kind of annoying that you have to log in with a Microsoft account, but, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the Epic Games Launcher installed on here, get Unreal Engine installed, and we're gonna be checking out, you know, some of the Unreal Engine 5 projects, like the Valley of the Ancient demo, as well as the Matrix Awakens, and, and kind of see how things run. And so, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of uh, Unreal Engine 5 content using Nanite and just seeing how far I can push the hardware limitations uh, of this computer. Let me know if there's some sort of Unreal Engine 5 demo if you guys want me to try and record. But yeah, my overall expectations on this, not that bad, honestly, for what I was expecting. Honestly, I was expecting to have some sort of thing broken or something in shipping. That and I was expecting to have a bunch of different bloatware and stuff I had to uninstall on the computer, but I got a clean install of Windows and all we really had and pre-installed were the drivers, so overall I gotta give them 8 or 9 out of 10. Like I said, hopefully that bent uh, power cable doesn't become a problem and yeah, anyways, expect more Unreal Engine 5 content here on the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have you ever wanted to make a multiplayer survival game? Well, now you can. I just released my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer Steam survival game course, where I show you how to make a complete survival game from start to finish. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.